Chào mừng quý vị đã đến với phần 3 của chương trình Câu chuyện Kinh doanh và ngay sau đây chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục cuộc trò chuyện với ông Adam Crew. Adam, yes. um, in the last part of the, the show, we will uh, talk about the demand of the market mm. of your business in Vietnam. Okay. Well, first of all, let me um, um, share with you this. Uh, your business has been around for many years. 12 years. Uh, 12 years. Yeah. And uh, you have total so far 700,000 individuals and 8,000 CEOs mm. and 400 businesses sign up for your That's services. That's right, over the last 12 years. Wow. That is a very good number. Have you ever done a survey on how successful they are right now? Yeah, the individual divisions would do surveys, right? So before they attend a program, there's always a pre-evaluation, right? Where are their business skills now? How do they feel right now? And mm. immediately after the program, they do a post-evaluation survey, mm. right? So, I mean, the reason why we get a lot of referrals, in fact, most of my, our business is referral business. We hardly do advertising in Singapore, most countries, unless we're very new. And uh, so right after the program, the, the success rate is very high. And what we do is normally about six months and a year later, we do a follow-up uh, survey with them and ask them to recommend uh, companies to come in as well mm. and to re-attend the program. Yeah? So one of the reasons why we believe our success rate is very high is because many people don't attend one program. After they attend one program, they send uh, their staff to come back for many, many years. So a lot of our uh, corporate clients, for example, are with us for the last seven, eight years, and every year they keep sending people. Uh, when individuals come to our program, they recommend their father, their mother, their son. The whole so, family. Yeah, so that's a testament to what we do, that it, it works. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's... Um I think it's very important that you have a lot of people refer your business yeah. when, uh, when they attend your class and yeah. after that they refer somebody else and that's, mm. that's, that cycle is, keep, keep, uh, is keeping your business going. Our business is a people business, it's a exactly. referral business. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, um, uh, I understand you come to Vietnam to support uh, Vietnamese businesses overcome bad time. Well, okay, but uh, that economy situation is now a global thing. It's not only in Vietnam, you know, but why did you decide to, to get into the Vietnamese market? You know, it's very interesting. Um, on my Facebook page, uh, about, I've got about 140,000 likes on my Facebook page. 140,000? 140,000, right. Out of the 140,000, 100,000 are Vietnamese. Really? Yeah. So, and, so I got a shock. I said, you know, you know most of the people uh, coming to my Facebook are Vietnamese, right? Okay. And increasingly, more and more Vietnamese they fly to Singapore to attend my program. Really? You know, and that's when I realized, hey, there's a big demand for my programs in Vietnam. Okay? And so last year, we came to Vietnam to do a first seminar here. Right. Okay? And, and it was a very good turnout. And of all the people who came, uh, we had many people who were very interested and said, you know, Adam, we want to bring your franchise here. We want to bring your name here. And uh, after we evaluated a few partners, we chose a right partner to work with. Uh, this lady, Mao, uh, from this uh, real estate company. Okay. And uh, she's the one that has bought our franchise and has brought us here. Okay. So the way I, I operate my business, I don't think, okay, I'm going to this country. I'm going to get that country. That's not how I think. Mine is only demand pool. When I see a lot of people from a country coming to Singapore to attend my programs, that makes me want to go to the country. So okay. it's more of a demand pool situation. Okay. Yeah. So all thanks to Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Chính thức có mặt tại Việt Nam từ 23 tháng 3 năm 2014, Adam Cool Education là đại diện chính thức của Adam Cool Learning Technologies Group tại Việt Nam. Đến Việt Nam, Adam Cool Education hoạt động trong 3 lĩnh vực chính: phát triển cá nhân, những chiến lược giúp mỗi cá nhân đạt được thành công trong cuộc sống và sự nghiệp thông qua chương trình Patterns of Excellence, những mô thức thành công, Well Academy, Học viện Kinh doanh và Đầu tư và những chương trình khác. Trung tâm Adam Khu giúp trẻ em 6 đến 15 tuổi phát triển động lực học tập và đạt được tiềm năng tối cao nhất thông qua chương trình tinh thông tiếng Anh Cambridge và tinh thông toán học Cambridge. Phát triển doanh nghiệp thúc đẩy các doanh nghiệp thông qua các lĩnh vực động lực, xây dựng đội nhóm, kỹ năng lãnh đạo, kỹ năng thuyết trình, kỹ năng bán hàng và nhiều kỹ năng khác. Với vốn đầu tư hơn 20 tỷ đồng, Adam Khu Learning Center được xây dựng theo tiêu chuẩn quốc tế với cơ sở vật chất, trang thiết bị học tập và giảng dạy hiện đại. Toàn bộ giảng viên của Adam Khu Learning Center đều được đào tạo chuyên môn trực tiếp từ đội ngũ chuyên gia là những tiến sĩ chuyên ngành tiếng Anh và toán học từ Singapore, cũng như được huấn luyện trực tiếp với Adam Khu về kỹ năng truyền động lực và phát triển con người. 
Bên cạnh đó, Adam Khu Learning Center còn được hỗ trợ bởi cộng đồng cố vấn chuyên môn, gồm những chuyên gia trong và ngoài nước giàu kinh nghiệm, đang giảng dạy ở các trường đại học uy tín trên thế giới. Adam, before you get into Vietnamese market, um, your business is personal development and corporate training services. Yes. So did you do any market research at My, all? My uh, franchise partner spent a lot of time and a lot of effort doing very in-depth market research to really understand the needs of the individuals, the companies and the parents. And that's how they develop their marketing strategy mm -hmm. and the uh, kind of products to offer to the market over here. Okay. Mm. So. Um, Have you looked at the, uh, the, the number of the, the research at all? Uh, maybe, how, how did it turn out? Uh, based on the result that we got, they were spot on in, on their research. So like I said, uh, in two days, we had uh, more than 5,000 people coming down and a few hundred people enrolling in the programs. So definitely their market research worked. They knew exactly what people wanted. Okay, yeah. all right, thank you. Uh, well, the next question I want to ask you that um, um, here in Vietnam, There are already many personal development corporate training centers sure. already. Yes. You know, where yeah. you can learn your skill set from. <coughs> However, mm. is it difficult for you to get here in Vietnam and take the market share from them? What, what's your opinion on that? Is that um, too cha cha challenging? Well, I, I think Singapore and uh, Indonesia or China, where I operate, I think it's even more competitive. There are even more players. In fact, I think Vietnam, compared to the other country, countries, are still quite young in the personal development, development space. Um, so I, I think it's not a question of how many competitors you have. The question is, what is your offering? What is your niche? And I believe that very few people uh, do what we do. Okay? I'll give you an example. Many people, they just focus on one area, maybe training students. Some focus on training, maybe uh, personal development. Mm -hmm. We're the only company, actually in Asia, one of the very few companies that does everything, right? From children to corporate to financial training. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we are one-stop shop okay. yeah, for all these services. So your client is very uh, diverse group. Of very diverse group. Yeah. But at the same time diverse, but there's a lot of cross-marketing. So for example, we train a corporation, we train a CEOs and directors, and they say, wow, fantastic, can you train my children? They send their children to the program, right? And after they say, okay, we've learned how to become better leaders in our business, but my personal life, I like to learn how to make some money as well. I like to learn how to trade in stocks. So it's, it's all related. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, to be uh, straightforward with you on this, mm. your program is, um, to many people, is mainly, mainly a, a psychological push when mm. you are actually uh, in your class. Yeah. But you people um, attend your class, they were like, oh, this is uh, something wonderful, something exciting, something mm. inspiring. It's, mm. very, it's a, a psychological thing. 50% of that. Exactly. 50%. But when they get out of the class, mm. just they go back to their own thing. Well, Nothing that, happening. that happens in, in my competitors. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? We're pretty different. Like I said, a lot of the people in this space, they just focus on the rah-rah. Yeah, you can do it, inspire, and they go back, you go down, right? Exactly. What makes us very different, like I said, is we don't just get them inspired and we teach them to motivate themselves. We teach them the exact skill sets. But that's also not enough because they can learn the skills, but they go back, they don't know how to apply the skills. So what makes us very different is that we build a community. So for example, my stock trading program, they come back every month for our investor and trading club where they discuss with other traders, mm -hmm. right? We've got an online portal where they, uh, they view my trades and my portfolio online live. So they literally get a mentor that handholds them along the way. Okay. Yeah. And that, that's what makes the difference, actually. Okay. Yeah. Well, you look at the Vietnamese market, and uh, what do you think about the growth of your business here, and what kind of uh, profit margin you are uh, uh, looking at? Um, the business part of it, I'm actually leaving it to my, my partners, right? Even in Singapore, okay, my company, I don't run the company. Uh, it's run by my CEO. He takes mm -hmm. care of all the numbers. I'm the guy who has the vision to transform lives, and they look at the numbers. Um, so I can't put a finger to actual margins and all those things. You know, in terms of market share, we're definitely aiming to be number one. Right. Okay. Number, uh, number one of... Um, in personal development and corporate training and all those things. In Vietnam. In Vietnam. We're already number one in Singapore, so, and okay. Indonesia, so mm -hmm. I think Vietnam. With the passion my partners have, I think that it's very, very possible. Okay. To do that. Well, I understand that you have wrote uh, many books. Yes. Share with me what is your favorite book? Uh, um, <clears throat> my favorite book would be the Winning the Game of Life. 
is winning the game of winning life. the game of life. Why is that? It's really about the philosophy of how to live your life as a winner. And winner is not just about making money, but winner is in being happy with yourself, all right? Contributing to people, uh, making a difference in other people's lives. Uh, so that book is about a lot of philosophy of living life well, as well as specific strategies on how to deal with adversity, on how to keep innovating and keep growing as a person. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my favorite books. Okay. Yeah. Well, it would be wonderful if you have a book right now that you can give it to me, but obviously you're not having it. So, <laughs> Well, Adam, thank you very much okay. for uh, coming on to the Most show. Most welcome. Thanks I for having me. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Both your personal life and business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi cuộc trò chuyện của chúng tôi ngày hôm nay. Hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong chương trình câu chuyện kinh doanh lần sau.